Um, okay, I'm out of bed for a little while. I was in there for like 36 hours. I sort of wish I were still in there, but I'm making myself sit up for a little bit of time. I posted my from in bed video, and um, I feel like after being horizontal for a set number of time, I should at least be sitting up somewhere else in my house to let fluids from my ears and stuff drain. And um, I'm sure it's good for my spine. And I, if I make myself sit up and eat something, maybe. So anyway, I wanted to do more definitions. But firstly, do you like my snowflake pajamas? It's Christmas in August. Um, okay, so what I wanted to talk about was the Herxheimer reaction, aka herxing or having a herx. Um, basically, this is a term that, well, I'll tell you the history. There was a person who was an Austrian dermatologist, um, Jarisch Herxheimer. Um, and he w worked in Vienna in 1895 and um, was a dermatologist, but he treated syphilis and um, syphilitic lesions on the skin. And he first noticed that when they first started treating these lesions, um, a lot of patients had severe fevers and perspiration and night sweats and nausea and vomiting and their skin lesions became larger and angrier um, and then eventually they would sort of settle down and then after sort of um, studying that for a while he and his brother um, Carl learned that it sort of is a way um, and, and they studied syphilis but it applies to Lyme disease um, Two, it, it's sort of the medicine goes into your body to fight, and then the disease has to fight back, and as it fights back, and if the medicine wins, the disease dies and releases all these toxins, these neurotoxins. Um, uh, and so a lot of people's bodies get sort of sicker before they get better. Now, um, usually Herx, um, or originally Herx was a term applied to syphilis or Lyme because they are both spirochetal um, bacteria and so that's what Herxing was that's what Herxheimer found anyway was the way spirochetal bacteria die off. Uh, I think I'm having sort of a Babesia Herx. The term Herxing is sort of starting to apply to more and more diseases and, um, and so they think from I read a page on the internet about Babesia Herxing being similar. And, okay, so there's some symptoms that always go, or often go with herxing, and that's um, flu-like symptoms, severe headaches, severe joint and muscle pain, body aches, sore throat, general malaise, exhaustion, sweating, chills, nausea, other symptoms like um, sort of neurological symptoms like twitching, and some people have seizures and convulsions, um, like I sort of am having a mild case of sort of the twitchies today. Um, so, uh, yeah, so when you hear somebody say, I am herxing, um, they're having a Herxheimer reaction, um, named after Jarish Herxheimer, who first discovered it. And it is a response to drugs killing off disease in your body, and a lot of doctors maintain it's a really good sign because it means that the medicine is at least killing something. <laughs> um, and I, I read about, um, sometimes if I breathe deep and sort of calm down, it helps. Um, I read about uh, the different sub differing severities of herxing, and so like if your herxing gets so bad that you just sort of can't take it or it puts you in the hospital, a lot of people back off on their medicines, but if you're having mild to moderate herx, you can drink a lot of water because that helps your body rid itself of toxins, or you can take supplements to help yourself along with the herx. Benadryl helps some people. So I just wanted to talk about herxing, herxheimer reaction, aka herxing, having a herx. <laughs> Lyme disease for dummies.